Hello everyone, this is your friendly Singularity, and welcome to my very first uh, Let's Play. This is Reseteer, an item shop's tale. And uh, the first thing I want to mention is that I'm trying something a little weird with this. I'm, I'm live streaming it as I go, and I'm also going to be uploading it to YouTube. So, those of you on the live stream that deal with me making uh, spiels like this to call out to the YouTube guys, and... Uh, YouTube guys, you might hear me respond to my friends on the live stream, and it might be terribly confusing, but I'll try to explain things as necessary. Now, I wanted to start by showing you the nice intro that plays if you leave this running at the title screen for long enough, but apparently, with several different attempts, all I get is either a white or a black screen on the live stream end, according to the friendly guy testing this for me. So, you won't be seeing the intro. If I, if I ever figure out how to get that to work, I'll throw it in a later video. Um, of course, I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere anyway, but... For now, we're just gonna hit New Game. And, as the intro runs, I'll try to explain what this game is all about. For those of you who haven't heard of it before. So, here we go, New Game! There's Tyr. Uh, she's a fairy, and she'll be harassing you for the entire game, as you'll see. She is still asleep, is what she says. She really not understand how important today is. Here's the other character from the title, Reset. Well, you can't see her yet, but she's sleeping, and she's dreaming about candy, because that seems to be what she does. Yep. Terry's not gonna have any of that, of course. Like, wake up! Quit being a lazy bum! We have work to do. What? When did you break into my house, now? Nothing like that. It's like, oh! Yeah, right. Just caught sleeping again. Morning. She's like, now listen here, Reset. It's time for your drill sergeant training to begin, what? Yes, the rest of your life dreaming of suits. Opening the store. Yes, now here's what I'll start explaining. This game is part RPG and part store simulation. It sounds weird, but it works. It really does. And we're gonna go through the tutorial on opening the store, because I had a cool save file, but it's lost. So this is a fresh new game. But here you have it. You have, uh... You ever said, like, oh yeah, I forgot we were gonna open a store. Tears like, mad. It's apparently Tear is French. She's like, I can't believe I'm helping you out. But, join me downstairs. Right now. She's like, alright, I could do that. I won't forget where downstairs is. It's over the shop right now. One of my favorite lines from this game. Capitalism ho. If you ever see this game described online anywhere, you're gonna hear that phrase, because because it's awesome. That is some very quotable lines. The translators did a great job on this game. Patience. Eventually, the world will be ours. But first, we need to sell stuff. What? We can open a store. Well, we can't sell stuff if we don't have stuff. Well, I don't, I don't understand the logic behind that, but okay. <laughs> Reset's kind of uh, a brick, a whole new level of brick. That's all right. What do we do? Well, we need to buy stuff. Duh. Oh wait, you don't have money to buy stuff. You automatically lose. Wouldn't that suck? Capitalism, indeed. Where should we go? Uh, Town Market or the Merchant's Guild. Those are the only other shops in town besides you, so uh, it's not like you have much choice right now. Give our regards to the head of the guild regardless. Yeah, by the way, you you were kind of authorized through the Merchant's Guild. <laughs> that old guy. I'm sure he'll like it if you greet him that way, Reset. That old guy. Wholesaler for local merchants. So if we stop by... 
I just did mission stuff. Can grovel at their feet. I, I mean, uh, say hello. Because if it weren't for the Guildmaster, you'd already be out on the streets broke. Homeless. Pathetic. Yeah, that's enough negative motivation. You can do this, we said. Let's go right now. Let's buy stuff. The door currently located is, you know... I think it does move eventually, actually. It's kind of funny. The door is currently there. It could move later. <laughs> I love this line. I wanted to leave through the window like an action hero. Said it's like the best storekeeper ever. Action hero. To eternity and oh no. <laughs> Research! You are not a superhero. I guess I am, you just don't know it yet. So now I have control of myself. And I can change the camera. I don't think I can open the menu yet, but that's okay. I'll just end up buying stuff and putting stuff here, so let's go. So, it won't let me go anywhere else right now. A lot of funny scenes happen here and there as you go. And if a funny scene is gonna happen, it's gonna be flashing like this. It's kinda railroading us right now. Day one does that. Don't worry about it. We got this figured out. And that's the old man Reset was talking about. He doesn't look that old. Wait till you see the old men that come and buy all your stuff. They're like 40 years older than you. Hello! A girl and a fairy. You two are, uh, evil, right? <laughs> Reset and that lone shark. Yep. Yep, Tear isn't helping just because she, just because she wants to. She has money she wants to get back. <laughs> not an incorrect assessment. Could you not call me that? It drives away business. That's right, mister. Tear is the nicest fairy I've ever seen in... Yeah, yeah, right. Fine, partners, whatever. How are the preparations for running the shop coming along? Oh, fantastic! Awesome! And all that other stuff. We're gonna open today, so we need stuff. We should've bought it yesterday, but... But then the player wouldn't get to experience this. Very good! Do know what's what. I'll be glad to help while I take all the money that you make. Well, most of it. This guy really, really comes out of it with lots of money. At least at first. There are other ways to get stuff that I'll show you later, but... For now, it's all from this guy. Not a problem at all. Merchandise. Yeah, up to the counter. It's our first time stocking them. Our funds are limited. Yeah, no kidding. You have a thousand picks. Picks is like the currency, and... You're gonna be selling, like, bread rolls and stuff for a while. I recommend purchasing no more than ten items. K.O. You have been defeated. Sure, I'll talk to you one time. No, I'm not going through all of these. I'll explain things as I need to. But basically, there are merchant levels, yes. And I'll showcase those later. Uh, the town has a bunch of different places where... Most of them are just events. You can buy stuff from this place and the plaza, or bazaar, or whatever you want to call it. And then you can go adventuring later. I actually forget what goes on with unknown items. So I'm gonna read this one. Mystery ingredients. Oh, yes. You have to identify these with this guy, I think. And then he gets more money. Oh, wait, no. It's tied to your merchant level. You'll have time to identify everything safely. That means you won't know what you're carrying until you leave, though. Yeah, you have a limited inventory space when you do go in a dungeon, and it's a, it's a real pain. It goes up eventually with merchant levels too, but let's just buy some stuff. Worn swords. It's pretty funny when someone comes in and buys this. Is this the legendary worn sword? Well, yes, yes it is! That'll be ten million bits! And then they leave, because they aren't that dumb. But, they may be wondering why there are so many weapons. Well, you know, not only is this a generic fantasy RPG setting where you have weapons, people to buy them from you, but you get to be the RPG shop, so most of what you buy, uh, most of what you stock will be weapons and stuff. It's just like the reverse of how it normally works. 
you know, those shops and those other RPGs that only have the stuff your party happens to need. And if you see a spear there, you know, oh, well, someone in my party is going to need spears. Eventually. Spoiler. It's like that. And this stuff is armor for various people you'll meet. And a lot of people just buy it because they can and they don't know what to do with their money, which is good for you, but... People you go adventuring with will end up buying this stuff too, and that means... If they buy it from you, they will keep it forever. Otherwise, you have to bring it with you and make them equip it, which is kind of a pain. But it's also a pain to make them buy it, because it's not like you can order them to buy stuff. So, I really don't have much money to fool around with here. I'm trying to remember which stuff is good to sell. Generally, at the start, the cheapest items are the best, because qual uh, quantity beats quality for basically the entire game. It gets better later, but... The first guy we're gonna bump into uses swords, but... He's gonna have one of these, and that will take most of our money, so... Let's not worry about it too much. Let's buy one of these, one of these... One of these, and, uh, crap, we're basically out of money already. <laughs> A thousand picks is nothing. Oh, we'll buy some clothes. That'll help fill out our stock. There we go. That's about all I can afford for now. One of these, just because. Sweet. We have stuff now. Would that be all? Yes, because we're broke already. We shall return eventually to give you more money. Yep. Oh, I forgot about this. There's your food. Walnut bread. Om nom nom. No, you're not supposed to eat that. You're supposed to sell that. You fool. Now I have to kick you to the curb. Capitalism ho again. Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Tira has some good lines, too. I forget about them. She's very snarky. Alright. And now, as you can see, we have an event back here took one period of time. Yeah, your day, and I think they'll, I think Tira will actually explain this shortly, but your day actually is split up into four segments, as you can see in the top left. Um, as long as you're out and about, you can go to all of these places, except, you know, a dungeon, uh, without wasting any time, but as soon as you head back, it takes one period of time. So if you're going to head out, you want to get as much done while you're out as possible. Just throwing that out there. A crash course on the basics of running an item shop. What are you buying? I can't do impressions. You know the Resident Evil guy. Yeah, I was trying to do that. What are you buying? What are you selling? What do I do first? Items on display. Yeah. Kind of a no-brainer. Those, those racks there, that's where you put stuff. Counters. Choose what you want to place in the primary button. That's that's Z by default. You will understand when you try, Justin. We don't need a fourth wall. Receive the store, so think carefully before you place them. Yeah, if you put all clothes up there, people will come in expecting clothes. So it helps to have a lot of the same type of item. And, of course, it also helps to put the most expensive stuff up there to get people who actually have money to spend. But we don't have too many different options, so we're just going to throw everything on everywhere. One on the counters. Sweet. And actually, because I have uh, several different types of items, I'm going to put one of each type up here to help bring in different types of customers. And Reset, may I speak with you a moment? Why the hell are you putting a worn sword out front? No one will treat us seriously. Those counters by the window. I think she placed there visible to anyone on the street. Thing I catching items on those counters with the corporate small right in the shop. Like this. Those counters are the face of the shop. Yep. So, like I said, you want the good stuff out there. So I'm not gonna leave the one sword out there. I don't think. Okay, I'll be careful. I'll be careful. I might stab myself with all this stuff. I don't have very many good options. That thing is worth a fair amount. I can go out there. Some clothes, because we have a bunch of those. Uh, wooden armband looks good. And I guess the worn... No, the dagger's worth a lot. We'll put that up there. Um... And, yeah, uh, there isn't really much rhyme or reason for the rest of these. Eventually we'll get another window. Alright, that should do for displaying our wares. Sure it doesn't look dumb? Yes, it looks dumb! What are you talking about? 
Ah, don't worry about it. We just want money. Sit at the table. Uh, yeah, but I'm not done... I'm not done putting... Oh, come on, I can't put my other stuff on there? I can't reset anything? Dang it! Uh... Actually, that might have been all my stuff. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, whatever. We'll worry about it later. This is day one. It's not important. 